continuously bringing you voracious reportage and principled adverts. Here are the Advil highlights in the past weeks. Far Eastern University will commence its face-to-face -face classes starting on the second semester of school year 2021 to 2022. Third to fifth year students in art appreciation and readings in Philippine history students will be coming back for physical classes. FEU Academic Affairs Office said that online classes are still an option for the students. FEU Manila Nursing Alumna was included in the top 10 of the November 2021 Nursing Licensure Examinations. Alan Grace Amor Bada from the Institute of Nursing placed fourth with a 87.80% average. FEU Manila recorded a 90.24% overall passing rate and 100% passing rate for first-time takers. Four programs of FEU earned the ASEAN University Network Quality Assurance or the AUNQA certification. The accredited programs include Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Architecture, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and Bachelor of Arts in International Studies. Currently, 12 FEU programs were granted with accreditation. FEU DEPCOM Professor Seymour Sanchez received the Special Mention Award during the third Dream Manila International Film. Film Festival. Sanchez won the award with the short documentary film entitled Maria Leonor. Maria Leonor was among the 56 out of 500 films which qualified in the Sad Film Festival. The Commission on Higher Education or CHED finally approved the FEU Tamarau's to resume in-person training in preparation for the University Athletic Association of the Philippines or the UAAP. In a tweet, FEU Athletic Director Mark Moline announced that the institution was given a certificate of authority last December 13. Tune in again and get the most up-to-date Advo highlights through Advocate's official website and social media accounts.